We have new details tonight on the seven people arrested overnight after using a U-Haul and other vehicles to stop traffic on Route 95. Today, six of those suspects faced a judge. And they're accused of blocking the highway for several minutes and face a variety of charges, including disorderly conduct and conspiracy. And we've learned this isn't the first time one of these suspects has done something like this. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt's live in Providence with those details and what one local lawmaker is proposing about the penalty for these crimes. Brandon? Well, Shannon, all six of these suspects face misdemeanor charges today. Five of them walked out of the courthouse. One is being held at the ACI. And a senator here in Rhode Island is saying that these types of allegations and crimes should carry harsher penalties. This is unacceptable. News of Monday night's U-Haul on the highway not sitting well with Senator Lou Raptakis. You want to protest. I believe in First Amendment rights. But protest in a safe manner. Don't go protest and cause harm to others. The senator, just one lawmaker, looking to reintroduce a bill that would make blocking a highway a felony, citing concerns over public safety, both for drivers and the people blocking the road. Least lenient penalties are going to be at least one to three years in jail with a mandatory 60 day no probation, no parole. We're not going to treat this lightly like a misdemeanor. That's, of course, if it passes. Senator Raptakis introducing this bill before in 2015. But recent events like this one from September, showing people walking onto the interstate, have renewed his interest in getting it passed. On Tuesday, six suspects from the latest highway roadblock were in court. This is video along Orm Street when police pulled over the U-Haul after they say it blocked traffic for seven minutes. Police charging the six with disorderly conduct and conspiracy. All of them walking out of the courthouse except 19 year old Najeli Rodriguez, the court calling her a probation violator. This is video of Rodriguez being arrested for blocking Dean Street in Providence back in July. And in January, court records show she assaulted three people with a dangerous weapon. Now, she's being held without bail at the ACI. Back on Smith Hill, Senator Raptakis says this is something that happens too often and he wants to see it stopped. I think this is a strong message to reintroduce the bill and finally get this enacted into law. So the question really turns to when. The senator says he thinks this could be reintroduced as soon as next month with a vote potentially at the beginning of next year. Live in Providence, Brandon True at 12 News. Tonight, a state senator is pushing to make protesting on the highway a felony following last night's incident on 95 North. It was breaking last night at 11. Today, several of the suspects accused of using a U-Haul truck to block traffic on the highway went before a judge. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt joins us now live with an update. Brandon. Well, Mike and Shannon, we've heard of cases of highway interruptions earlier this year, but police say this group blocked an entire northbound area of I-95 for several minutes last night. Today was the first step in these suspects facing the results of those charges, and today we learned one of them has been here before. This is how Monday night ended. Rhode Island State Police surrounding a U-Haul on Orm Street. Troopers say they got word it was blocking the northbound side of I-95 around 9.30. The U-Haul was there for roughly seven minutes before driving away. Police caught up to them here. Tuesday morning, six suspects appearing two by two in Providence District Court, each charged with conspiracy and disorderly conduct. Police say it was Cade Page who was driving the U-Haul, Devin Costa, Cody Boyce, Evan Lafourier, Julie Unger, and Najeli Rodriguez were found riding in the back, each between 19 and 24 years old. All of the suspects pled not guilty and were released pending their next court date, except for one, 19-year-old Najeli Rodriguez. Ms. Rodriguez has never missed a court date. The judge found Rodriguez to be a probation violator. Last night's offense, not the first time she's charged with blocking a road. This is video from her arrest in front of the public safety complex back in July, accused of blocking the street there. In the days after, Rodriguez claimed police targeted her as a protester, speaking to 12 News following her arrest. I was yanked, tackled, body slammed. My face was smashed into the pavement. Um, just because I was protesting. But it was charges from January that the judge has kept him from releasing her, charged with assaulting three people with a dangerous weapon. Today, the judge ordered the 19 year old held without bail at the ACI pending a status update this Friday. And although six people were in court today, a total of seven were arrested for this last night. Police say the other is a 15 year old who's not being identified. Live in Providence, Brandon True at 12 News.